Hopefully we can get this truck out now. Huh? I said hopefully we can get the bike out now. I think so. Can you bring the rope, please? I recommend putting gloves on, otherwise you burn your hand. I recommend keeping your gloves on, otherwise you'll burn your hand with the rope. Hey, the red uh, red light on? Yeah. Good. Might as well record it. Drift HD. Yeah. The drift innovation is a little bit smaller than the Go GoPro. It's a little bit smaller. What? It's smaller than the GoPro and lighter. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a Drift HD Ghost by Drift Innov Innovation. I'm recording now. Huh? Recording. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, if I would have bought the newest, second newest GoPro with all the mounts and batteries and stick and everything, it would cost me around three to four hundred dollars. I got this for like everything for like two fifty. Oh. Yeah, suction mount, adhesive mount, extra mount, um, 32 gigs of S, uh, little micro SD card and the camera and a microphone. How many hours? Um, I haven't really even got, like, I heard over five hours on 1080p. I'm not really sure. I haven't really, I just got it like maybe a week ago. So it's like we're gonna be one stand up here pulling while they're the one down there gonna be pushing. But they better not we better not let go, otherwise the bike's gonna come down on them. <laughs> Put the put the bike on neutral and then have the front wheel facing upwards and it'll be a lot easier to push it up. Cause if it's not on the... You want, dude, I'll bring, bring the fucking truck! truck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, somebody, go, go this way. somebody should stay down there and make sure there's no bikes or anybody coming up full speed. Because if the truck's going to be here, somebody's going to T-bone it. That's why somebody needs to stay up there. What a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Someone should stand up there and just make sure nobody comes down full speed. Hey, do I need? Do we need to move these two bikes? Yeah, you don't want to break the rope. See, I would go down there, but my fat ass is gonna stay down there. Listen, hey, straighten it out, man. Go the other way! You gotta be kidding me. Hold on. Oh, fuck. I did not see that. 
Fuck, I did not. I didn't. Yeah, they're straightening the bike out. Fuck. I did not see there was a pole right here. Fuck. The thing is, if you go right, the bike's gonna go straight into the bushes. If you go left, the bike's gonna come up the same way it came up down. Oh, you know what? Don't worry, I got this all by myself. Don't look. No, I can't get this on board. You're looking at three. Right from there. Tell you the truth, go around, wrap, wrap it around here. Wrap around like a pulley? Um, problem is, what if the rope starts um, cutting, or uh, well, the tree starts cutting the... It's going to cut that. It's not going to cut it. Splinter will. They're going to put... The thing is, it's not going to be a proper pulley system. That's what I told them. That's why when you pull, this way it won't fall back on you. Just go straight, it's not going to fall back. You, you know, I've done this several times. Several times. Wow. Several times. Alright. Oh, just straighten it out. Let him straighten it out. Uh, if it doesn't, it doesn't fall. There's no reason to have all of us in pull, and we can't easily pull that up. Uh, let's just hope one of us doesn't get hit by a car. We should hold it because it's going to go back down. <laughs> Somebody should be watching for a car. Oh well. Pull, pull. Fuck the tow truck driver. Now we just need a flatbed. Look, none of this is broken. This is all intact. You can't ride it. There's no brake in the bike. You can get it. Hey, come here. Check it out. See that? Military? Huh? Military? No, it's stunting. No, I'm the frame. There's a military sticker. Oh, that's what you're talking about. the frame's completely okay. The frame's completely intact. <laughs> I crashed one, the frame wasn't the size and danger wasn't there. Really? <laughs> if we get it turned on, it'll ride, right? Oh, yeah, no, no brakes. <laughs> oh, no brakes? Oh, brake. oh okay. I think Rear brake. Oh, Mark Kemp oh, stocks yeah. it in all the time. Huh? This is the brake line. So the thing I'm worried about is no turn around and start running, oil comes out. Yeah, right. That's, That's the problem. You don't want to leak oil or liquid food. Like right here, because I never got to that level <laughs> for six months. I finally got a new casket and then never. I would go home and my whole left side would just be oil. Damn. <laughs> the pilot comes up to me. 
She's like, Chris, you're leaking oil. I was like, yeah. And then we're like, we just take off. <laughs> yeah, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> I want to know why the bike doesn't stop. The light's coming on. It's not a neutral here, Chris. Maybe you could jump it like you did last time I see you. Yeah, we can start one. Like, literally jump on the bike. Is it GP Chester? No. Okay. Can I switch gear? Ah, okay. No break. I'm standing back. It'll turn on once it's up for like 10 minutes. Yeah. Right. It hasn't been up straight up for like 10 minutes. And once it'll turn on. Ah, that's what happened to my bike. There's no reason, right? Try running, try running push. Five more minutes will turn on. Cause if you're waking out gas, then there's not gonna be gas in the engine. No, it's the bank sensor, this sensor. And the, and the, and the whole Honda, if this is bad, the bike won't turn on. So the bike right now thinks that it's upside down. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were saying earlier, once it's kicked, once yeah. it's kicked uh, this, one, this sensor gets great. Oh, the sensor has to come what back. What about unplugging it? It's the sensor. There's okay, there's somebody no hold the bike, right. please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the well, like a snowmobile. Like you unplug it and the sensor is completely sure. disabled. Yeah. And you have to wait a little bit. Oh, so you would be able to unplug it and then it would just fire uh, up. Oh, wait a minute. Like I'm I was going to say, why don't you just rip out the sensor? Rocky Island was it? Uh, before 2005. They oh, really? Like yeah, because yeah. yeah, I know people who use this bike for stunting, they rip the uh, sensor out. Give me a break. I will, I will ride it down to Rock Store. It's like a quarter mile to the Rock Store. And somebody going to bring me back to my bike. You can just ride back on that one. No brakes, right? Yeah. Use your rear brake. No, there's no brakes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take the car. I'm not going to get you out, I promise. Whee!